the Regal VMX250 mobile laser scanning system has arrived in time for the 2010 SPAR 3D laser scanning conference. The system was shipped by air and is being quickly installed on the vehicle by the Regal USA personnel. As you can see, there's a single cable that attaches from the laser scanning head to the control box. The scanning head is mounted on the back of the vehicle, single antenna, with the DMI wheel sensor. The system alignment procedure is to establish a more accurate heading capability for the IMU system and now the vehicle is ready for its mission. The ability of the system to operate and navigate on city streets allows us the convenience to capture information in a very complete manner. And as you can see, the data is quite impressive as exhibited in this color-coded reflectance. operation of the unit in various traffic conditions, whether fast and free flow, stalled and congested, is quite evident. As you can see from the point cloud, the two scanner head system does a very complete job of capturing the entire scene. You'll see the grayscale reflectance in this image, and you will see the power of the 16-bit channel for the intensity information. The red spots that you see in the image indicate high reflectance, as you can see in this small cone, but small almost indistinguishable feature are seen in the brick patterns and in the signs on the buildings, all an example of the spatial density and the reflectance capability of the system. As you can see in this range independent reflectance image, the far buildings, you're seeing the orange or yellow colors, and you can determine that those colors are not governed by the distance from the laser scanner. In addition, if you compare the video with the point cloud information, you're seeing the varying reflectances established by the different materials that the laser hits. The completeness of the scene is quite evident, but as you will see as you pass underneath the bridge, the overall system integration with the IMU GNS 
is quite superb. There are no missing or dislocated data sets. What we're seeing now is the power of the multi-target single return and the yellow first return are quite evident and as you look at the building you'll see the blue last return and this allows us to penetrate the vegetation to be able to see the facades and to make sure that we cover them completely. In addition, the perfect performance on vegetation with the waveform system allows users to be able to either completely identify the vegetation or to be able to remove it completely. Thank you.